Alright, so the Xbox Series X is just announced and why not create something in Photoshop with it. So, I got this tutorial today and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like tutorials and check the link in the description if you want to find all these files that I use. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, fulfill all your wishes. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. And then you would get more and more adventure. All right, now this is the size I'll be working in. So I can just copy these settings and start from there. And let's start off with this background. I got this one for the background. So I'm just gonna drag this in in this this file here and press right mouse and convert the smart object. Now let's make sure this horizon is at the center of this image, a little bit above it. So let's resize this. And after that, we're gonna put the Xbox in the center here so this is fine and now i'm gonna put this one there i already removed the background here with the pen tool so it's just really easy because it's like almost square so you don't have to spend much time on it and after that i want to make sure it's in between these trees here so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna select this mask now i want to select the brush go all the way up here and i'm gonna use a tree brush for this so i will Put these three brushes in the description in this video here so you can download these these are all free brushes and only thing i have to do now is select here black as foreground color and let's bring the opacity flow all the way up and now it doesn't really matter which tree you just try some of these and only thing i have to do here is just brush these trees here around it let's create a new layer on top of everything and this time i'm going to use the mist brushes so i want to create some mist in the background here over the horizon Let's start working on the background here. So I got this image for the background. So I'm just going to copy this and put it underneath the layer of this one. So first let's make a mask here. And now we want to select the gradient tool. Press D on your keyboard so you can have white to black here. And let's get rid of this background. Just make a little, little line. Hold down shift so it's horizontal and paste this in the background. Right, gonna make a smart object here and after that just resize it till we get something that we like something like this is okay and we can even remove more from this from these trees so i'm just gonna do this a couple more times they'll get something that i like so this looks okay something like this all right let's add these these birds here so just copy that and put this in the file Make a smart object and put them somewhere where you like. Take a like them here. As you can see, this background doesn't match with these trees here as a color. So we can do two things here. Let's first make a color balance layer here. We can either change the background color to something more. Don't forget to press this to something more greenish. Oh, that's this one. So we can either change that one to green. Or we can change this one to more like purple, bluish, like the background. But I think I want it green because Xbox is like green stuff. So let's make the background more greenish like that. Now, as you can see on this part of the Xbox is lighter than this part. So I'm assuming the light needs to come from somewhere on that side. So let's create a shadow here. So only thing I have to do here is just let's make a new layer. 
and let's make like this line so it stays at the same width as this side of the xbox and let's just make that black instead of white rotate this and put it somewhere here just make sure it's touching here the border and here so let's do it like that and put it underneath this layer and after that just go to filter blur gaussian blur give it a little bit of blur and change the opacity and that's it so now you have a little shadow here from this from this xbox let's make this let's make sure it's something like that maybe even more blur here so i'm gonna add some more blur just a little shadow that makes it looks more real All right, that looks fine and maybe add a new layer and brush a little bit here behind this joystick. Let's drop the flow here. Let's add some light effects here because I want to have some sunshine there. So I'm going to create a new layer, select something like this as a color and just use a normal brush to make a dot like that and put it somewhere there, something like that and duplicate this change it to screen and now you want to press ctrl command t let's make this lighter ctrl command t and we'll hold it down command not sure which which key this is on 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 windows but you just want to stretch it out like that let's create some light effects here so i want to make sure it's behind this xbox and somewhere here is okay so if you create a new layer here and Let's make sure it's like this yellowish color again. Change the blending mode to overlay. And now just brush some areas lighter. So you have sunset from that side. So we need to make this side of this composition lighter than this side. So also here behind it, just a little bit more light. All right, let's add this Game Boy to it. So I got this one and just gonna put this. Make sure it's underneath the layers of the lighting. Let's make a smart object and put it somewhere in the background. I think somewhere there is okay. Now I'm gonna make a mask again and gonna use a tree brush again. Just one of those tree brushes from the tree brushes pack and make sure the color is black and just press the bottom part of it. Like it's somewhere in between those trees there. All right, that looks fine. And now we can work on the lighting here because it's way too grayish to light. So let's first create some curves here. Select this. So only affect this layer underneath it. And let's drop the middles here and the highlights. Like that. And let's make, let's put this in a folder. Let's make a shadow here. So I'm going to create a new layer and select a normal brush again. And let's drop the flow all the way down to around 10%. Make sure you have black selected as a color. And especially this area here needs some shadows. This is even too much. I'm going to drop the flow even more. Let's make it like this line. A little bit here. You can even use like a dark green color instead of black. So let me do this again with dark green and change the blending mode to multiply. That works even better because black is a little bit too much here. So do it like this. I'm gonna make sure this area behind it is isn't going too far in the background. So make sure it stays like that. Right, let's edit these curves again to make it even darker. 
So I want to make this dark first and after that I'm going to select this mask of it and select the white brush. Sorry, black brush and make these areas lighter again because we have lighting from this side so we need to make sure this side is light. Let's bring this up. Just like that. And this side can stay dark because it's like the shadow side of this Game Boy. And maybe a little bit on the bottom here. All right, let's add some lights to this screen. So first let's make sure we make a selection of this screen. So I'm going to do this on a new layer and make a selection of this screen. After that, I want to fill it with something like this green, but way lighter. So I'm just going to fill it like this. So now it's like, like this Game Boy is on. And let's change the blade mode to overlay. Now we can duplicate this again. And let's change this to screen because we have a screen here and drop the opacity. All right, now we can make some glow coming from this screen. So I'm going to do this in a new layer. And... Let's bring the flow all the way up and make this lighter green. Something like that. And change blending mode to screen. And now we can just adjust this maybe a little bit smaller. Something like that. All right, so I got this guy here and I want to put this guy on this Xbox. So I'm going to copy that and Make sure it's above all the other layers. Make a smart object and just make sure it's like a realistic dimension, realistic size of this human being here. So maybe even smaller. Just a little detail here that I like on the corner of this Xbox. All right, let's make him darker because he needs to have like a dark back because he's standing there light is coming from the right side so we need to make his back darker let's first make him darker at all and now we can just brush the parts away that needs to be lighter like this side make sure you select black as a color and just brush a little bit here these are just little details but i think it's important to know that lighting works how lighting works and stuff like that all right let's duplicate this layer I'm gonna press Command or Control E to flatten this. Press Command Control U to bring up the hue and saturation and make this all black. Now go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical, and drag it down. Press Control Command T to free transform. And while holding down Command, I'm just gonna stretch it out like that. So you also have a little bit of shadow here to make it look more real. Because we have lighting on the right side, so we need to make sure we have some shadows here. Maybe that's too much. A little bit less, like that. And just drop the opacity here. And that's it. Alright, I'm gonna run this into, into Lightroom. So I got this as a PNG file. I export this as a PNG file and open this up in Lightroom and... I'm going to add some of one of my presets here. You can get all these presets in the description if you check the link in the description. So it's just a one-time investment and you can use these for the rest of your life for all your images. And this also works for photo photography. So let me check these presets. So I'm going to use this one. I always use this one for lighting. As you can see, this was before and this after. It makes a huge difference with the image. So I'm going to apply this one. And only thing I have to do here is just to little bit of editing here in the settings and maybe select this and move this around this is like the spot where the light comes from so we can move this around make sure it's somewhere on the right side because we have lighting from the right side and we'll make sure it's coming from right here so i'm gonna move this around and just play with the settings until i get something that i like need to zoom out here a little bit maybe even more 
and create something cool with with these settings. So I, this only thing I have to do is play with this with this circle, whatever it is, and make some cool lighting here. So that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you like it, and see you in the next video.